What up everybody, it's Dan Sears, and we're here with another review and it's none other, none other than Once Customs Hobo Myers. Probably the best Hobo Myers, if not the best Hobo Myers ever made on the planet. Yeah, it's like that. Guys, if you guys saw in the previous review, the Borrow Studio Taxi Driver, at the end, I said there was going to be an Easter egg, and it's none other than this. So, I went over to the homie Chris's house, I Am Toys, Chris Parmanand, and he hit me up. He's like, I gotta let this go. I said to myself, we gonna make a deal. I said, I ain't walking out of that place without that motherfucking thing, and uh, I got it. So... This is considered the best hobo on the planet. Uh, in my eyes, there's really only one person that could do Hobo Myers. And as of right now, it is One Customs. And this is the best one out of the lot. Uh, there's another one that I used to previously own, which was the original prototype uh, commissioned by Stiff Richards. Um, six scale gray, six scale, ugh, six scale grails, follow his YouTube. Um, he commissioned the original prototype, which I have a review. It was one of the very first reviews that I did, and I love that piece. And then I saw this, and uh, I was like, damn, you know, this rivals that one. The only thing is this has got the stature that a hobo needs. Uh, the other one's amazing as well. Uh, trust me, if I could have the other prototype and I can get it back, I'm going to have it. Uh, that's another one that's, like, one of the most amazing in the world. Uh, and then this one right here was... Commissioned by Stiff Richards uh, once again, and then it passed down to I Am Toys, and now it passed down to me. And I think I got a sneeze. <laughs> All right, so Hobo Michael Myers, you might ask yourself, some people don't know this movie. This is Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, the sequel to his original 2007 Halloween remake. Now, Rob Zombie is a rock artist, an icon, and he has become a movie director and he's directed some of the most amazing things like House of a Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects, 31, Halloween, Halloween 2, I mean, that, the dude can't go no wrong, I love all his movies, I'm biased towards him, and uh, so his version of the remake of Halloween was way more grittier way more personal and it showed a lot of the backstory of Michael Myers which a lot of people didn't like whatever a lot of people don't like his movies whatever I don't care it's I, I like them just as much as the original if not more sorry if the writing's horrible maybe I'm just dumb so but I respect your opinion just like I hope you respect mine um, and I have to say Rob Zombie brought the most interesting look for Michael Myers and maybe the third or second most iconic obviously 78 or the 81 are the most iconics uh, which is the warlock and the original uh, the Nick Castle and then you have this one I'd have to say and yeah guys so essentially what a hobo Myers is is in the sequel Michael Myers is believed to be dead and he's just strolling through the streets and the woods of uh, Haddonfield or pretty much all over the states trying to get to his sister Lori uh, after he made the escape in the first movie where he survived and he's just picked up all these rags, these jackets from bums, he's been living off animals, he, he, the coveralls has, that he's been wearing since the original, he's been wearing for years, he doesn't shower or anything, his boots are weathered, yeah, the mask is deteriorating and rotting, at a certain point he has a half mask look where half his mask is ripped when he's in the strip club, uh, not throwing dollar signs obviously. But, and then there's an unmasked look, and I gotta get those other two heads to complete this setup, because this setup never came with those two other heads, unfortunately. But, this right here is the Hobo Myers look. He has the hood and everything, and only one person can pull this off. And it is One's Customs. I mean, I've made a few Hobos, and I'm very proud of what I made. I, I love, I love what I did, and, but obviously it was made with certain One's Customs parts. Um, so this is a one-of-one. -one. This is considered the best hobo, the stature, the details, everything. As we start from the boots, the boots are accurate. They are outsourced boots, but they're heavily modified. It has the steel tip showing, which that is what was happening in the movie. Um, they're weathered, they're grimy, and they're absolutely been through the muck. 
you move up the coveralls and these are the best Myers coveralls in the game for a hobo period you legitimately they don't they drape perfectly they're baggy they're weathered they have all the accurate holes in the knees all oh my god I just absolutely love it. all the stitching's perfect I don't know if it, I believe Mont Montwain's wife once customs wife did these coveralls and it's scary how good these came out now this is a 2000 and this is a 2018 piece so you guys can see he has all the snaps on the side of the coveralls are accurate every fold is done purposefully and you move up the coveralls you see all the accurate pockets and then you start seeing the frails of the jacket the diamond pattern stuffing that's ripped off that's really really accurate then you see the diamond jacket and this jacket i don't know where it gets this material i've been hunting material down i hunted one material down but it's not as good as this one it has like this silky look to it but it's it's stuffed on the inside it's it's perfect perfect to the movie uh it's weathered the coloring's on point with the camel i mean what is there to say the proportions are great then you have the under jacket and the way he frilled the arms it lays perfectly with the stuffing hanging out and then you have the rips and tears hanging from the wrists the weathered hands absolutely banger of a piece there's a reason these things cost what they do this is art form in its finest i am sorry if people don't disagree uh don't agree i mean uh these to do these horror pieces it's tough man it's it, it's tough it's hard it, it takes a certain mindset a uh, certain skill just like it takes certain skill to do a borrow studio set or uh, let's say a Freddy or a Last Samurai or anything like that, just anything, it, it takes talent. Um, then you move up and you see uh, the pull strings on the hood, it has a sculpted pull string at the end, uh, and then you have the hood, it's awesome, and then you have the hood, it's weathered, it's, oh, and it's a wired hood so you can shape it any way, any way you really want to and make this piece look amazing. And then you have the sleeping bag, the, just the way the rope was done, the way it was weathered, and it's soft material just like a sleeping bag would because Michael Myers was sleeping out there in the woods and all he had was that blanket or a sleeping bag essentially what you could say it was a piece of cloth. And he would stick the knife in there and all that. Uh, the knife is beautiful. I mean, weathered to perfection. There's two knives, one that came with this set originally and then another one that uh, is a Once Customs knife that uh, Paul Manzi weathered. Uh, distress laps and they're both beautiful the handles are perfect the blade is amazing perfect size I mean oh my god and then you move up to the head sculpt the head sculpt what can you say probably the best pain and Myers head sculpt best hair head sculpt best anything and it's on a magnet system on top of it so absolutely amazing piece I just oh it has all the layers it has the camo jacket it has the under jacket and then it has the diamond jacket I mean it's a lot of clothing now here is the reveal once customs and distress labs are gonna be releasing a hobo Myers run at the end of this year they will be announcing it well I guess this is the official announcement because me and Paul were talking and we wanted to announce it with probably the best hobo in the game at this point and I'm telling you guys do not miss out on that run do not miss out on the run once it gets announced, get yourself a spot. It's going to be pricey, but the thing that's going to come with it, oh my god. From what I've been told, and I can't divulge too much, but the diorama is going to be amazing and perfect. And once customs, will actually probably be able to beat this. That's a statement. The words from Montwain Gonzalez himself. He will try and he will probably and most likely and will do achieve a better look than this. Damn. Now you say, Dan, why would you get this if you know there's a run coming? I'm gonna get both. I have this one and then I have the run because I would like the most updated version and what is considered to be the best hobo in the world at the moment. And now once the run is gonna be released, that will probably be the best hobo period. And I would love to just have two. You know, I'm a Michael Myers, Rob Zombie enthusiast. Rob Zombie is my favorite, one of my favorite artists, directors, I, Michael Myers Hobo. I think I legitimately, like, for me, I, I've made custom Hobos. I, I, I would, I'm going to get tattoos of Hobo. Like, this, 
I, I absolutely love everything about this this character. So guys, paint, 10 out of 10. Proportioning a 10 out of 10. Clothing, I give the clothing a 9 out of 10. Uh, I, I feel the jacket could have been uh, weather a little bit more, like more stuffing coming out of it, but that's all right. Uh, the presentation though, 10 out of 10. By the way guys, this diorama is something I made just to display this with. Uh, just so you guys know, just something quick I made just because I wanted uh, to show you guys this piece uh, on something. Now, I made this for my previous hobo that I had, the prototype. And obviously, as you guys can see, this guy overtowers this piece, this diorama. So this is obviously going to be when he's either in the basement or anything. It's got the broken uh, wall with all the, you know, the struts showing and all that. It's got muck and it's got a picture of... Uh, uh, his mother when she was at the strip club and all that but I just wanted to present it the right way so don't this is not the die that's going to be coming the diorama that's coming with this by Paul Manzi at the stress lab is going to be amazing uh, amazing I absolutely am infatuated with this piece thank you to Chris I am toys for letting this go to me and uh, just like I said guys stay tuned when the announcement for the new run will be made it's going to be pricey, but you ain't going to get a hobo nowhere else. And I guarantee you, if any other artist did a hobo, they'd charge even more. It, it, it's just factual. I've had quotes from super high-end artists that don't even work in the custom, uh, custom horror side of the hobby, and they quoted me 6, 7K, some even 10K. And I'm just like, nah, I'm good, playboy. Nah, ain't happening. And that was before I knew once customers were gonna do a run. So, yeah, it's gonna be worth all the pennies. Start saving up now, guys. It's gonna be a very small run, though, I believe. I don't know, actually, I'm, I may have jumped the gun on that. It, but I do believe it's gonna be a pretty limited run, never to be touched again, ever. Remember, the exclusivity and the quality is there. So, guys, this hobo, man, and the hobos that are gonna be coming. Oh man, once customs in distress lab this year are just eating up my wallet. Once again, thank you, Mont Twain, for bringing us artwork like this and to distress labs. And thank you to I Am Toys one more time. And uh, thank you for Stiff Richards for commissioning this piece. So subscribe, share. There's got uh, there's gonna be so many more reviews coming. And hit that bell uh, so you guys don't miss any uploads because I upload a lot of videos that I'm posting groups, so definitely you guys want to be in the know. And until next time, guys, stay sick. Peace, and conquer your own collection. Woo! Wow!